right youtube what you saying i hope you're all good i've got a nice little break but i'm back now back with an absolute banger for this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to make a remix of any song in fl studio you can use these tips in any door as well any door has these features so if you're using any of the software like ableton logic pro you'll also be able to follow along this tutorial pretty well so the first thing you want to do when making a remix is obviously find what song you're going to remix so i'm going to be making a remix of life gets hard by Ilya. If you don't already know the song, it sounds like this. Absolute banger. We're going to make that into a nice house track, a nice deep house track. So to get started, first off, is we're going to put our template on at the same BPM as the original track. I do this by going on the song BPM finder. I'm using songbpm.com, so I've just searched up Life Gets Hard. What this website does is it tells us the key of the song and it tells us the BPM of the song. I'm not paying promotion or anything to use that website, it's such a good website to find out the BPM and keys of your songs and it's crucial for your remixes. So the BPM of this was 122, so we're going to take that down to 122 as we did. Now we'll use the metronome just to check if that's on tempo. Which it is. So next we're going to extract the vocals from the sound. So if you're in FL, you can do this by left clicking and extracting the stems from sample and clicking the vocals and clicking extract but if you're not using fl you can just go on the internet and search up vocal extractor mp3 it should work if not you can maybe go on youtube and search up the acapella of this uh, song that you're remixing so i'm just going to quickly wait till this is finished um, processing it shouldn't take long now we're just going to quickly check if them vocals are good which they are so you don't have to worry about that now what we're going to do is we're going to take our tempo up to the normal house track and BPM basically. We're just going to remove the top one for now and we're going to double click this and then we're going to run mode, we're going to click stretch and then we can take this up to any BPM we want and it um, automatically take itself to that BPM. So now we've got the BPM all sorted and we're going to make the bass line and we're going to build the track around the bass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the bass line based on um, the original melody from the original track. So that, that sound, I'm going to make the bass line around that. So I'm going to go up my channel rack and I'm going to open up Serum. If you don't have Serum, you can use anything, any preset that has a good bass preset that you like. I understand Serum is an expensive preset and it's not the best to use for a tutorial and um, for new beginners. If you're looking to get into music production fully, I definitely recommend Serum. You can get it for £10 a month off Splice or you can pay a full out, which I think is $189. So I'm going to select my preset, I'm going to go into my base presets um, and I'm going to just click this one, see how it sounds. No, not that one. Yeah, I'm feeling that one. So now I'm going to close Serum, go into my piano roll by just right clicking and then piano roll. And I've got a MIDI keyboard, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can just click this up here, type in keyboard to piano keyboard, which will allow your keyboard, um, like your keys keyboard, it allow you to use that to paste sounds into the piano roll. So I'm just going to mess around and see what I come up with a MIDI pattern. There, so I'm liking that it's following that um, lead sound that we said we were going to follow in the beginning. So I'm going to record that in. To record that in, as I'm using a MIDI keyboard, I'm going to use the weight input to start playing. If you're using the piano keyboard, you don't really need to do this. All you need to do is hit record up here and it'll bring up a menu. All you just need to do is record in a piano roll or something along the lines of that. So I'm going to click weight input to start playing, pattern. I'm going to play it and as soon as I click the key, it's going to start recording. So I did that in the wrong key there on my MIDI keyboard, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it all, hold shift and take it up to. There, so I don't think this is on the right one. Um, so I'm going to take that down.
there so it's on C5 so we're just going to take that up um, just like that and now if we use the metronome it's going to sound off You see it's going to sound off that means it's going to sound not correct with the drums so all we're going to do is we're going to zoom in first of all you want to select all of your midi um to make sure that it's brought right to the back um of your piano roll i'm just going to zoom in and you see how this note's not on the line here we're going to hold alt and i'm going to left click just to drag it on and then we're just going to drag each uh, note to the closest line And then because uh, this is basically the same throughout the full piano uh, MIDI pattern. So I'm going to take this, I'm just going to delete everything else. But I'm going to put little notes just to remember what key I'm in. And I'm going to select all of this by holding control and left click and dragging across it. I'm going to hold shift, left click and just drag that out. Shift, left click, drag it out and then put it on this key. So I know it's there, then I can remove this key. I'm going to remove these, hold shift, left click, drag it, then remove this, and this is what our bass pattern sound like now. There, so that's following the um, original lead sound that we wanted to follow. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag that bass in here, and see what it's sounding like. That's sounding good. So what I like to do when I'm creating my um, remixes, I like to make the chorus first. So just gonna zoom out, and then we're just gonna go along the vocals to see which um, part of the vocal sample will fit into the chorus. I'm thinking something like this over here. So we're gonna use this tool up here, um, slice tool. I'm just gonna click C on our keyboard, and then we're gonna left click and drag up where we want to cut on the sample and I'm going to drag the end of it over here as well so this is a 4 bar pattern so then we're just going to left click this and drag it underneath we're going to take these down a few um, as well just like that and then now we've got the bass with the chorus vocals Yeah, I think that's sounding nice. So next I'm going to add a kick. This is from my GST Essentials pack, which you can get in the description down below. It's on sale right now. You should definitely go get it. I use this kit in every single one of my beats. I'm just going to hold Alt and uh, drag this sample on the line just to make sure it doesn't overlap with anything. I'm going to preview what that sounds like with the kicks. That's sounding hard. Um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some effects to the bass. So I'm just going to go into the channel rack. Go on unsorted. I'm going to make sure I deselect all of these. And I'm going to click on the serum or the VST I've used for the bass. Click this little cogwheel up here. Um, and then click track. This will automatically assign it to a mixer channel. Give it a colour and all that good stuff. So the first effect I'm going to add is I'm going to add a kickstart. You can do this by using the fruity limiter. If you're dead into your producing, I'd recommend getting kickstart too. This is by far one of my favourite plugins that I've ever bought. It just easily um, sidechains your basses, um, your kicks, your drums, anything that you want to sidechain really. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to select the uh, nice and tight. I'm going to go on pattern. I'm just going to turn the mix down a little bit as well. This stops it interfering with the kicks, so instead of it sounding like this, The kicks out and it sounds like this. So it leaves uh, a little room for the kicks, as you can see here. Let's move just that a little bit. Just 
We're going to add the kicks to a mix channel as well. We're going to add this to number five and then click track to assign it to a mixer track. Turn it down a little bit and we're also going to put the vocals on the mixer track as well. So just double clicking the vocals and then clicking track. We're going to also add an effect to the vocal over here. We're going to add a fruity reverb too. That's it for the tutorial. I've already come, I've already created the full track. I'm working with the original producer Ilya to get this song out on all platforms, which is going to be absolutely insane. I just want to say I couldn't have done it without everyone's support keeping me going throughout my journey. This is going to be my first major release on every platform: Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Deezer, anything you can think of. My song is going to be on there. The song is dropping this Friday the 19th, I think it is. Something like that. It's Friday the 19th or Friday the 20th at 5 p.m. on my SoundCloud and then at a later date it'll be dropping to all platforms. So that's it from me for this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Make sure to cut my drum kit if you haven't already. It's the best in the game. And yeah, I hope I hope you're having an amazing rest of your week. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.